Okay, testing feedback induction heater. Drawing 5.7 amps with cold iron. Well, it's actually not that cold, it's starting to warm up. Some of the grease is burning off of it, as you can see there. There's about a pound of iron in here. This is a uh, aluminum oxide fire blanket material. 5.7 amps at 120 volts. While that's heating up, I'm printing out here a poodle cookie cutter. We'll see how that goes. Looks like it's got a good a bit of time on it though to print. It says about eight hours here. The iron's actually starting to glow. Just see it there. But it's still only drawing 6.2 amps. There it's going, it's taken off really rapidly in terms of current draw. Here it is now, let's have a quick look. Whoa, that is really hot. 20 amp draw. Let's see what the iron is doing. Some metal fumes coming off this so I've got to be careful about. Mounted it into a puddle on the ground and it's hitting the garage floor so I'm going to have to turn it off. It's mounted through the ceramic material. like it's melting into the garage floor. Here's your molten iron. It's formed a big irregular brick of molten iron. Okay, here's after cooling it down. It melted it into this like chunk. Look at the elephant's foot from Chernobyl. It's just a big chunk of, of metal. And I was lucky I was able to move it off the garage floor before it cracked the concrete, but it left a crater in the garage floor. And when I moved it, look what it did. It was so hot. So that was a major issue. I'm, I'm lucky I didn't crack the, the concrete. Okay, back to the cookie cutter. It's coming out pretty nice. We're gonna make some poodle shaped um, brownies here in not too long. Well, folks, I'm glad you had a chance to check this insane machine that I built. Look, it burnt right through the alumina and made its way to the floor. Uh, so it definitely works. This is the uh, uh, coupling transformer and this wire looked good and uh, when I tested this transformer it stayed cool. Um, I put up some details on how to build this if you're interested and you can check some of my previous videos. Please don't forget to subscribe. It's the only way I can keep this channel going. Thanks for watching folks. Keep on experimenting.